Hey, what's up guys and welcome to this 50 pound note search. So I decided to go to the bank and get some 50 pound notes. Now there's not um, a massive amount of money here. There's 600 pounds of 50 pound notes here. So it's not a crazy amount. It's not really that thick to be honest. Um, it's not like thousands and thousands of pounds or whatever. But I thought, you know what? We do all the rest, so let's do the biggest. So yeah, so like we do with all notes, still pay for this one until 2022, uh, 2021, sorry. We're gonna flip them all around. So we have, there we go, the queen looking up on all of them. Now, these ones we're going to look for exactly the same as, let's bring the camera up a bit, they're a bit bigger than the other ones aren't they? Um, exactly the same as when we look at £20 notes, 5s and 10s, we're just going to go through the queen side quickly and just have a peek to see if there's any misprints in them or anything like that. And the first thing I notice about them is they kind of look like the new £20 notes, Buckingham Palace in the background. Same portrait of the Queen looking too young. And yeah. So the new ones will come out 2021. Someone's written on that 50. And they will be polymer as well. Now I am going to look for a really nice crisper one. Uh, maybe to keep in a collection. In our collection. Because it's always good to keep one. And in the future anyway, if you don't want to keep it, you can always just take it to the Bank of England or to your local or your bank and always exchange it for a new note, to be honest. But yeah, so that's what I'm planning on doing. So let's have a look on the other side. Got these two fellas on the back. We got Matthew Bolton and James Watt. So we're gonna call this side the Bolt the Matthew James side. All right, so let's have a look around. <laughs> Nothing too crazy on this side. We've got an AK-12 next to an AK-11. Let's have a look at the rest of the serial numbers on there. Another AK-12. Let's, that's weird. Let's have a look at the serial numbers side by side. Nah, no one there. I thought maybe they would be close. That would have been pretty cool. What I have noticed about these is they're not like as damaged. Oh, sorry about that. I moved the thing down. Um, not as damaged as what? Well, not all of them. As the old twenties and the old tens were. Because I think people just don't tend to want fifty-pound notes. Got a double A there. It's a shame. There's is there like any clue with the coding on here? Do we know how to work out when it was um, printed or anything like that? Let's have a look. Let's Google it. Um, British. If I can spell British. There we go. British 50 pound note. Pound notes. Um, what are we looking for? It's the serial number, isn't it? Serial numbers. There we go. Uh, serial number. Oh, uh, oh. Oh, it says here that the serial number A A O one zero 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 one three sold for seven hundred pounds. Apparently. Uh, that was finance thingy. Our old notes still valid. I'm googling out of sight here because I just in case there's any personal information. Um, serial numbers. Date of printing. So let's see if it gives us a. So these were actually. Mm -hmm. uh, this is odd. 
I can show you this. So it's telling me that the £50 note, you can see the £50 note there, was issued the 14th of September 2017 with Jane Austen. Okay, Google. Right, so I'm going to have to look this up. Information, ah, here we go. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. <laughs> Oops. I activated my Google Dot there. So, yeah, that was a bit um, odd. So we're going to have a look. So, number of prints per sheet. Do you know there's 35 per sheet? On here, this is turned into just a Google session, isn't it? This will increase to 45 per sheet. Um, nah, that's not giving me much information. I'll I'll look it up and then find it out another time. So, guys, sorry about the weirdness on the end, the googling stuff. But that is our first 50 pound note hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if I've missed anything, leave it in the comments. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So take care guys, and goodbye.